Welcome back to The Grind. In this video, we are going to talk about the Eldritch Legendary Hunter and Invoker. The Hunter is Ceres, I think that's how you say it, and Annelid is the Invoker. So first, we're going to talk about Ceres, the Legendary Ice Hunter that is bred with Medesis and Dagon. So let's get into the spells. We have Envenom, an active white one rage spell, which will have the dragon gain an extra 125% increased breath damage for four seconds and poison the towers. Poison towers will take 1.5% of dragon's modified HP as damage each second for two seconds and the spell has no cooldown. So you can use it every four seconds. And during that four second period that the spell is active, each new ammo shot that hits a tower should apply a new poison, which will refresh the two second duration. He also has Flash, an active blue one rage spell that will slow the dragon to 50% movement speed and blind all nearby towers, basically dodging all non-beam tower attacks for 4.25 seconds and it will have a three second cooldown. Now, unfortunately, a blue mage disabling this spell does not refresh the cooldown and three seconds is quite a long cooldown for you to be able to dodge towers repeatedly but the upside is with flash while it's active for 4.25 seconds you can still attack and do damage to towers so that is pretty beneficial then he'll have reconstitute an active white one rage spell that will restore 15 percent of its modified hp and recovers 50 percent of the hunter's ammo it will have a six second cooldown this isn't a very significant heal but the increased ammo is beneficial then he'll have a passive called undertow which will allow his ammo shots to cause the towers to take 20% increased damage and the dragon will have a 75% increased rage regeneration. So this will be very helpful because a lot of dragons struggle with rage. Now at first glance, this dragon seems pretty interesting with his spells, but there is a major problem when I think about how I would fly it against a base. He does have a way to blink the initial super shots using flash, but then he'll have three second cooldown on that spell and he'll be open to a second round of super shots and all the damage that comes along with it. He doesn't have any other way to dodge or avoid damage or super shots or mage strains, which I think is going to really be a problem for this dragon. But if the base is undefended or let's assume that you're able to destroy the blue mage on the turn and then use flash before getting hit by at least the super shots from the mage towers then i would say that you would want to use ammo on the towers and then destroy the blue mage first and then try to hit one ammo on every tower before using in venom and using flash now you can use flash before doing those two things but I think that if you hit the towers with ammo first and then use Invenom, they will take more damage from the poison and then you'll also be doing more damage with the Invenom breath attack to the towers that are already taking more damage. And then while in flash, you can also use Reconstitute to restore a little bit of health gain that ammo back and then burst down a couple more towers. So with this dragon from at least my first glance, he will be dependent on destroying that blue mage as quick as possible from the turn and then using flash and from there using in venom and reconstitute to help deal as much damage as possible while you're protected by flash. Next we'll talk about Annelid, which is the legendary wind invoker that will be bred by Ladron and Dagon. Now, Annelid is an interesting one, and I'm a little bit worried about this dragon being ineffective as well. He has Lightning Storm, which is an active white two rage spell that summons a cloud that shoots lightning bolts every half second for five seconds. Each of those bolts deals 5.5% of dragon's HP to buildings in range, and it hits towers randomly, kind of like the lightning storm that we have in game already. The problem with this is that it's doing a little bit of damage to a lot of different towers in a large area, so it doesn't really help destroy critical towers quickly. And then you'll have Magic Barrier, which is an active white zero rage spell that helps to protect you for 3.5 seconds against damage and mage drain super shots there's a five second cooldown and then the invoke shot the light is a is lightning it's a passive spell that you know it's the fourth shot for the invoker and it deals 35 percent of the dragon's modified hp as damage to the targeted tower and then it will bounce to up to two additional towers now this is a pretty decent amount of damage hopefully it will be one-shotting towers even a little bit above his tier however 
the big thing that makes this spell or breaks this spell is if it will hit monuments or not. If it bounces to the monument, that takes out a huge amount of your ability to destroy an island, and that would not be good. He also has Regenerate, which heals 31% of the dragon's HP over 2 seconds, and has a 4 second cooldown. So that heal is a pretty effective heal, but like I said, I don't like that the Lightning Storm deals random damage to a bunch of different towers, because it won't really help destroy towers very much if at all i don't know that this spell would be very useful and then i also don't like that with the lightning invoke shot i am assuming that you will have to be fully facing the island before you can use it so you can't destroy towers before they even shoot so you have to use your magic barrier right away to dodge the damage from those towers and that probably also means the mage super shot so You'll have to use Magic Barrier right as you're facing the island. Use the the Invoke Shot on towers, hopefully taking out three towers. And then right before Magic Barrier ends, you should be able to use another Invoke Lightning. So you should be able to take out another three towers. But remember that Magic Barrier has a five second cooldown. So if somebody saves Super Shots for Mages for after Magic Barrier ends, you're exposed to those. And the... Regenerate only does 31% over 2 seconds, which is a pretty strong heal, but then a 4 second cooldown after that. So there is a period of time where you are very exposed to damage. And all you can do is sit there and take it and hope that Invoke comes up in time so that you can destroy the towers before they destroy you. Now if you did the math while I was talking, using Invoke right away and then Magic Barrier followed by a second Invoke, that should be enough damage to destroy a full short island at least. Now that assumes that the damage it deals is enough to destroy the towers and I don't know how much higher or even if the base that you're hitting within your tier with good gear, I don't know for sure if 35% of the dragon's HP will translate into enough damage but I do think that that is a significant amount of damage and I expect that it will be able to destroy towers of higher tiers so for short islands this may be an effective dragon for long islands it will struggle because if it doesn't take out the critical towers because we know lightning is random so we don't we can't target the three critical towers so if it doesn't take out the three towers you need it to take out and then magic barrier ends you might be dead and i'm not a big fan of random chance unfortunately but for short islands this dragon would be very solid for sure now i definitely would have to wait and see this dragon flying and so again i wish i could play these dragons but unfortunately i am very far from this tier and i do not get to play test these dragons so if you have footage i would very much appreciate it if you could share it no matter what it is just so i can share some of what it looks like in live flights and discuss it on in more details once again thank you for watching i hope this was helpful and we'll see you in the next video